Uh, what, what have I got available? Oh, plasma rifle. Plasma rifle, plasma rifle, plasma rifle. Plasma rifle. Plasma rifle. Plasma, plasma, plasma rifle. Yes, it's got to be there. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours back with some more XCOM 2 as we work our way through this Advent Black site to retrieve the package, which is apparently the this thing, which I can't help but notice looks suspiciously like the thing that I was freed from at the start of this game. So I'm sure there'll be some important plot complications after we're done with this. Now we've cleared out, well, Everything's basically dead at this point that I'm aware of. So I'm just going to start some folks moving up a little bit cautiously, but I think we're pretty good from here. Cecile, why don't you overwatch this? If I know my XCOM 2, and after 34 some odd episodes of it, I feel that I do, um, probably what is going to happen is we'll pick up the package, and then I can't help but think that other aliens will all of, a, all of a sudden drop from the sky to make our lives a little difficult. Now, in terms of picking up the package, I can't help but notice, Rohit, that you have no grenades and no rockets and no nothing left. So if somebody's going to be stuck lumbering something around, you might be the best choice for that. All right, the walls are destroyed. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. That's not a problem. So yeah, Rohit, because you're going to be basically ineffective for the rest of this mission. So why don't you just start by moving up here for right now. Get up to the package. And so, what are we going to do with Cecile? Where is the evac zone likely to be? Well, I mean, out here is probably my best guess, but let's just have you move up here by the door. That seems sensible. Okay, and Johnny, you can also move up by the door. If things are going to drop out of the sky, they're probably going to come down near the evac zone. That's pretty sensible. Ah, now, Kostya, you also don't have anything left. You've used all of your things. That's a bit unfortunate, but we'll, we'll learn to cope with that information. You've all still got guns. That's the important part. Yeah, you also dash up here, please. If something's going to pop, I'd prefer we were on top of it. And actually, you can actually get right outside, although I should probably put Johnny on the roof. But I'm going to put Catherine up here for now just because I can, really, just uh, only to get an eyeball on everything that might be going on outside. And then we might move Johnny up there, too. Not a bad idea to have a sniper in a good position. And Vasquez, you can actually get right outside. You can you can get out. I gotta feel the evac zone's gonna be over there. I really do. I, I've played a few rounds of XCOM 2 at this point. I know this is a blind run, but you start to get a feel for what's gonna happen in the game. All right, Rohit, I need you to grab the package, and I'll just bet the second that I do, things are gonna happen. So, yeah, get that, please. Yeah, absolutely nobody is surprised by the fact that this is exactly the same thing that I was kept in, and it looks exactly like me when I was freed by Central. So, Rohit, I need you to grab this thing. Carry the unit, please. Yep. Pick that up. Good job, Rohit. And the evac zone is exactly where I didn't think it was going to be. So the evac zone is actually over here, and we've already got an enemy flare over here. So they're going to drop out of the sky sort of in this direction. That's not... Uh, we'll have some high ground, but not a lot of cover. Not a lot of cover. Okay, Rohit, you need to be moving first because the most important thing is to get you out. Now, where is the closest door to all of this nonsense? Probably over here. Yeah, uh, let's get Johnny. Can you get up on the roof? Yes, you can. Get up there. It'll take them around to drop from the sky and kind of get settled. Kind of settle themselves down and stop being fussy about moving around. And Cecile, you can get all the way over here. That should give you a decent shot on anything. 
I had to place a guess, it's going to be Advent Troopers and Mechs. That is pretty standard for what they do. Now, Rohit, if I get you to here with the package, I think, just kind of trying to judge the distance here, I think you might be able to get to evac in one round. I'm hoping. So if you're there, yeah, if you just park yourself right there. Now come back to Rohit. I think we might be able to get all the way over to the evac with him in one round. Kostya, why don't you hang out over here? You're apparently going to take an extremely obscure route to do it. You're going to go up and then drop down. Kostya, you're a bit of a show-off sometimes, you know that? And Catherine, you're going to get a little bit useless up here, aren't you? Why don't you head over here? That's, first of all, some really good cover. And it should give you some kind of decent shot on anyone who lands at the enemy drop zone there. And then Vasquez, you're completely in the wrong place. You are 100% not where you need to be. Why don't you, I also want to make sure you get out quickly. So why don't you come over here? Why don't you hang out by Cecile? That seems like a good thing for you to be doing. Now, is that everyone? Yep, here they come. That's fine. That's fine. They're not going to be able to do anything this round. So, yeah, one mech, two mechs, and, and an advent. And that looks like a shield bearer, too. I really don't like those guys. Okay, the problem is this mech is on Overwatch. Which means I can't really move people to the evac zone like I want to. Um, Johnny... Johnny, could you shoot the mech? Um, no, no, give me, give me Johnny, please. Johnny, thank you. Can you shoot that mech and remove his overwatch, please? Not him. Yeah, him. Uh, you apparently have a 100% chance on that. Well, actually, you know what, Johnny? While we're here, while we're here, you may as well do some different damage. So, yeah, your lightning hands is up. Go ahead and, and fire at something. Sure, that guy, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead and lightning hands that guy. May as well take advantage of some of your free actions. I'm planning on just getting out of here. If we can get out without killing all these things, that'll be totally fine. But, you know, while you're here... No, not that one. That one. Yeah, take a 100% chance at him. That should break his overwatch. Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate it. Yep, your overwatch is removed. Fantastic. Okay, good. That, that solves your issue. Um, let's deal with the most important thing, which is Rohit and the package. Yeah, you can 100% get out to the evac right now. So let's just accomplish our mission. You're not going to be able to do anything else, Rohit, so you may as well get out of here. We may as well nail the mission part of this, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with all these other things. So yes, Rohit and the package is out. Mission accomplished on that front. Now we just have to figure out if we can get everyone else out of here. So, who's next? Yes, I know we've done a thing, Central. I'm, I'm aware we did a thing. Who's got some grenades or... Ooh, your Haywire protocol is up. Okay, we'll have a think about that, Cecile. That would take down one mech, or at least shut him down. And you have your rapid fire. I think we're, we're in a pretty decent position here. Now, Catherine, what have you got going on? You have serial chain shot for every kill. Your actions will be refunded. I don't know if you're actually going to get a kill. You also have Haywire Protocol. We could shut down both of those mechs right now. That's not the worst idea I've ever had. Does anyone have any grenades left at all? Just a single grenade. Doesn't look like it. No, no. No, I mean, I don't really want to stay around and kill all these things if we don't have to. That being said, Johnny's not going to be able to get to the evac zone, and I don't want to leave him here, well, effectively alone. So let's try this. Let's have Cecile, or Catherine, that works too, that's fine. Catherine, use your Haywire protocol on one of them. I don't really care which one. But, you know, take this guy, take the Advent Mech, Haywire protocol him. Let's see if we can shut this guy down. And then Cecile, maybe we can shut the other one down. That'll just leave the shield bearer on the map, and that's going to put him in a very bad position for him. What are our numbers like on this? How are we going to do? Ooh, yeah, 100% chance. I think I'll take that. I think I'll take that just fine on shutting him down. I think we'll be able to nail this one. Yep, you're done. All right, that'll take him down for two turns. 
Now, I wonder if we can just do the same thing to the other one. We may as well take some free XP if we can by killing them. Yep, I know you're shut down. Just, just get shut down, please. Yeah, Cecile, why don't you also do a thing? Why don't you shut this guy down? Haywire Protocol is fun. Uh, 77, not quite as good as 100, but I... I think we'll gamble on this one. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good gamble. Looking to the RNG gods to be nice to me here. Thank you very much. Shut him down. Yeah, that Advent Shield Bearer has got to be feeling pretty bad about his life choices right now. Okay, yeah, get get your little gremlin back. That's fine. That's fine. Yep, you're shut down. Yeah, that, that Advent Shield Bearer is maybe thinking a different career would have been good for him. Uh, so who have you got shots at? Not so good on that guy. Chain shot's not really going to help you. Suppression is not the stupidest idea, but that being said, let's just get you into a shooty-shooty position here. Why don't you... That's not really going to be any better shot, though, is it? No, that, that's fine. Just head over here, Kostya. Just try and shoot something. Actually, you could try and just shoot the mech. Oh, now you've got a flanking shot on him, though. Yeah, go ahead and take it. If we can just take this guy down, then we've got all the time in the world to deal with the mechs. And by all the time in the world, I, I basically mean, well, two rounds. Okay, nice crit there, Kostya. Thank you. See, you don't need your grenades. You're good just as you are. Um, Vasquez, what would you like to kill today? Ooh, you could slash that guy. That'll pretty much take him out. Yeah, go go ahead and do that. Just slice him in two with a plasma sword if you'd be so kind, Vasquez. Thank you. And you got the crit. Didn't need it, but you took it. That's what I like about you, Vasquez. It's one of the many things I like about you. Okay, two down and one shut down. Okay, um, let's just start moving people to the evac zone and we'll shoot this guy on the way out. Just get everyone in the zone. Yeah, go ahead and, uh, why, 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 why are you not shooting things? Never mind, just get out of there. You know what, that's fine, Cecile, just get out. You're a valued member of the team, let's just make sure you get out of there. Uh, what I really want to focus on is Johnny. Johnny's the farthest away from the evac zone. Yeah, thank you. Um, and you can totally get out of here, so go ahead and do that, Johnny. I think think everyone's actually in a position to evac, so I don't even know if I want to waste my time taking down the other mech. It's not like he's going to do anything to us. And most of these folks are already max level anyway, so the extra little tiny bit of XP is not going to be what makes or break us, breaks us here. I mean, if we can shoot something, we will. Yeah, go ahead and shoot him, Kostya. Why not? Why not? You're, you, you like doing that. Yeah, there we go. I kind of messed up his day. And Vasquez, do you want to get in on some of that action? No? Okay. No. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, just get... You're done then, Kostya. Just get out of here. Just a parting shot on the way out from the Russian. All right, Catherine, you are very far away. So let's get you out of here. That's you done. You evac. Thank you very much. And that should just leave Vasquez. Excellent. Vasquez, you can get a parting shot on your way out, but just go over here. What's your shot? Like 75? Yeah, you should be able to take this guy down. There we go. Vasquez doesn't leave any Advent troops alive. And now you can leave. Excellent. We are done. We are out of here. Mission accomplished. Well, Vasquez is going to be out for a few days, but that's fine. We'll learn to cope with that. I'm just now noticing that Vasquez and Johnny Walker are now tied for kills at 53 kills each. 53 kills! You two are animals. You are absolutely insane. I love you guys. And Rohit got a promotion. Good job, Rohit. Oh, we're down to your final ability. Now, remind me again. Rupture deals critical damage and ensures that the target takes an additional plus three damage from all attacks in the future. It's going to be really, really hard to beat that. Saturation fire, cone-shaped barrage of bullets at every enemy in the area. Now, that is good. 
the cover of those am enemies can be damaged or destroyed, but it's pretty much going to run dry all your ammo. I gotta feel its rupture, taking plus three damage from all attacks in the future. Sectopods, I'm looking in your direction. That would be super handy. So yeah, I think Rohit is going to get rupture. That seems super solid. I see the advantage of saturation fire, but rupture is just going to be more broadly effective. Okay, let's see. I'm sure Tigan and or Shen and or Central is going to have something to say about the package that we just retrieved. Well, not as much as I thought. I was expecting some huge cutscene from Tigan about this, but the recovered Advent suit, which uh, apparently we're detecting a humanoid organism inside it, all he's really said is, it's going to take me a wicked, wicked long time to research this, so don't hold your breath, is the gist of his conversation. So I guess we're going to have to park ourselves and fidget with some other things while he gets done with this. And no surprise, our new objective is to examine the Advent Stasis suit in the Shadow Chamber. That is not shocking at all. Now, all of that being said, what are we doing right now? We spent so long at that Advent site, I'm kind of forgotten what we're doing. We have the Scilab coming up and running in one day, and a power relay in two days. That's excellent. Supply drop in two days. That'll be good. We're not... We're not crippled for money right now, but a supply drop is always welcome. We've got the war suit coming up, blue screen protocols coming up, all sorts of stuff. Experimental, what did I put down? Grenades? Yeah, experimental grenades are coming in. Boy, that wraith suit is going to take... I'm not even sure the game will be... The game might be over by the time we research wraith suit, but I just want to walk through a wall once. That's all I want. Okay, let's get rid of that. And let me just take a very, very quick look at our troops. I'm trying to remember, did we actually hire some rookies for the Scilab? I feel that I did. Yeah, Joe Watkins and Elizabeth Robinson. Super. Joe Watkins can't help noticing you have the same last name as Catherine Watkins. Do we have another brother-sister team here? I don't know. Maybe these two will be a husband and wife. Who knows? But all right. Um, Lucy Brown is out for a few days, and so is Vasquez. Apart from that, we've got a solid, solid crew here. I'd like to take Patrick Doyle and Eric Johnson out which is not a bad idea now that Vasquez is wounded. Take out some of our backup rangers and maybe Christian Lawrence. Yeah, let's, we might, the next one, we might take out kind of the B and C team and get some folks leveled up. All right, well, let's just get back to the world map and keep some time ticking along. Let me see what there is to do out in the world. I'm going to head back up to New Arctic because we've only got a couple more days to make contact up there. And there's another Advent Black site we could take down. Of course, taking that one that we just did down knocked a couple of red blocks off the Avatar project. We could knock that down a couple more pegs. That would not be the worst thing in the world. I'd like to see that thing pretty darn low. So let's take a little bit of time away. And the Scilab is done. Good. I would actually like to view this facility, please. Tell me all about it. Okay, so rookies only in the Psy Lab, that's fine, and staffing an engineer here will decrease the training time. Obviously makes sense. Let me see what I can do with this information. Let's see how we kind of get the Psy Lab operational here. So pretty straightforward stuff like any of the other operational facilities in the XCOM base here. Let's, uh, I have Harumi Yamada available as an engineer. That'll take the training time down by 50%. So absolutely, you can go in there. Thank you, Harumi. And open soldier required. That's fine. Joe Watkins can go in there. Yes, train him, please. And purchase the upgrade so that could, I could put another Psy operative in there. And we do have another rookie. Um, well, what's it going to cost? 225 supplies, 15 Illyrium crystals. I don't hate that. I've got that. And I don't see... I've got a supply drop coming pretty much momentarily. So, sure. I've, I've got all the required pieces of the puzzle there. I may as well put another rookie in there. Elizabeth Robinson, you are now going to be psionically enhanced, hopefully. I don't know if this is a chance, like... XCOM Enemy Unknown was. I mean, are we hoping that somebody's going to come out as a Psy operative, or is this more, this seems more like a guarantee, like they are definitely going to be trained in psionic warfare? Well, you'll find out when I do. All right, back to the world map, and let's see if we can just do this making contact thing. What else is coming in? Um, I think we've got a shadow project. Ooh, what are we doing? 
Commander. Excellent. My analysis of the fragmented Codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... an Elder? I haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration. Rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. All right, a lot of information there to process, but basically bringing back the story from the final mission of Enemy Unknown, where we learn that the aliens have basically been going planet to planet, messing with everyone's genetics, and now they're here because they specifically want something out of humans. Their journey might be over in terms of what they were looking for, but a really nice tie-in to the final mission of Enemy Unknown, where they reveal, yeah, we've been doing this for centuries. You're just one more species that we're messing with. And our new task, oh good, use a Skulljack on a Codex. That'll be fun, because those guys are, are you know, not, not fussy at all about getting up close and personal with them. Great, now i got to take the Skulljack out with me again instead of a Mimic Beacon. The thing with the Skulljack is, that's great, I get it, it's a plot-specific mission, but the second I put the Skulljack on someone, that's a Mimic Beacon or a grenade that I don't have on site. So, all right, we'll, we'll certainly work on that. Now i got to take the Skulljack out with me every single time, just in case I run into a Codex. Encrypted Codex data... Okay, yeah, we, we, we did a thing. Thank you, Tygen. I appreciate that. All right. Um, who? Okay, research or shadow project? Well, what have I got in the shadow chamber? I must have, yeah, the recovered advent stasis thing. Okay, but we can't ignore regular research, especially because it's flashing a big exclamation mark at me. Uh, what, what have I got available? Oh, plasma rifle. Plasma rifle, plasma rifle, plasma rifle. Plasma rifle. Plasma rifle. Plasma, plasma, plasma rifle. Yes. It's got to be that. It's got to it's got to be plasma rifle. There, there's no question of that. That that just that, that's just a no-brainer. Uh, so yeah, Tygen, hang out there and please get me plasma rifles super super quickly. If I can nail down some more scientists for you, I will certainly do that. But let's get back to making contact out here. And oh, the supply drop's going to turn up soon. All right, incoming resistance communication. We got 326 supplies, and the spokesperson is pretty darn happy with what we've done, and why shouldn't he be? We've done a ton of stuff this month. Holy moly. New staff available, Major Jake Graham. Really? Okay. Um, well, well, what's Major Jake Graham to me? Oh, dear. Four weeks till midnight raids. Cracks down on, okay, increasing the cost of recruits. I don't really care about that. I think I've pretty much got the people in place that I want. But resistance informant, aliens find a mole, reducing the retaliation counter by two weeks. So that's pretty rough. I don't really want to reveal the hidden event. Briefly, I'm sure it's terrible. That's what I can tell you about the hidden event. I bet it's bad for us. Supply drop over there. Yeah, we should actually probably go ahead and do that. And then we'll get back to, yes, I know, I know, we're going to, we're going to go somewhere else and do another thing. It's all going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. I know, Central, we didn't actually make contact. It was largely busy work, to be truthful with you, Central. 
And what else is coming in? Oh, the power relay is going to be done soon. Thank goodness. All right, good. Yes, let me please view that facility because now we've actually got some power in this place. Now, can I just go ahead and automatically upgrade it? I don't think I have an, an empty engineer. Well, an act or a not busy engineer. No, I don't. What's it going to cost me to upgrade this? 80 supplies? Done. Absolutely done. Yeah, I need, I need power, people. I need power. Now, with that done, do I have any empty cells here? No. I need an engineer. What are you doing? You're in resistance comms. Okay, you're in power. Oh, I need some more engineers. Kind of now, truth be told. Because then I can get some more stuff dug out. All right, uh, back to the world map. Back, 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 back. And back to grabbing these supplies. Thank you very much. And that. Okay, got that. Yes. Uh, actually, yes. Let's fly back to Resistance HQ for a couple of reasons. One, that'll be faster healing. Two, I want to see what that new available major does for a living. Yes, I would actually like to look at the new staff, please. Actually, do I have any... Oh, he's a grenadier. And I've been saying I need a backup grenadier. Ooh, huh. But I could also get an engineer, which is exactly what I needed. I, I can actually afford both. But I shouldn't do that. That's, that's silly. That's ridiculous. I shouldn't get both. I should take the engineer. The engineer is honestly more valuable to me right now. I've got those two rookies. I'm assuming, I don't know the answer to this question. Please let me know in the comments. I'm assuming rookies in the Psy Lab, if I take, you know, if, if when, they're, when they're done, when they're psionically enhanced, I'm assuming they're still rookies, right? Would that, that, seem, that would seem to make sense to me. So therefore, can I also then train them into a specific class like I can with regular rookies? I'm taking the engineer. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the engineer. That, that's, I, I think that's a solid move. And let me, uh, let me actually put you doing something immediately, like digging out some more things. Alien machinery, alien machinery, debris, and the power coil I can't quite get to yet. Yeah, go ahead and what's above this? Oh, adjacency bonuses aren't really a thing, are they? So it doesn't really matter. Uh, is there any time difference? Yeah, go ahead and clear this out. Um, I just got an engineer. So yeah, Oliver Hall, start excavating that, please. And that's, oh boy, that's going to take a while. Wouldn't mind getting another engineer, truth be told. Okay, back to the world map. Oh, scientist over here. That'd be handy. Um, I'll get back to you in a bit, New Arctic. Although I could just go to Eastern Europe. Either way, well, oh, er, grr. I really want that scientist. That scientist got six days on him. One day to make contact in the new Arctic. I know there's a bit of travel time, but I'm kind of hoping we can get both done. Make contact in new Arctic and deal with this and then get back down there and get that scientist. That scientist would be super handy. All right, a quick 40 supplies from the New Arctic, that's fine. And we've unlocked East Asia that we could potentially make contact with. And yeah, give me, give me back to this. Now, can we just automatically go and assault this thing? Boy, we sure can. We sure can. What's in there? Ah, well, a codex. There we go. One sectopod. Everything else is pretty manageable, though. Really just advent troops. Officers, troopers, shield bearers, one mech. Well, I don't know quite how many mechs, I, but mechs, that's fine. Haywire Protocol should deal with those guys. And we'll have to look at Catherine Watkins Haywire Protocol against sectopods. If she was 100% against a mech to shut it down, her hacking skills are not to be sniffed at. All right, uh, cancel that right now because I just want to get experimental grenade done. So I, I, I just want to kill some time. Um, yeah, go over here. We may as well start getting this done. Yeah, oh, I need intel to do that. All right, fine, 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 fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Um, oh, 
Resistance HQ is actually set up to gain intel, not rapid healing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It will, I'll, I'll cope with this. It'll all be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Just let me get the experimental grenades down and see what those are going to unlock. What did I get? Acid grenade. Super corrosive chemical additive to our standard frag grenades results in a small explosive that is especially effective at removing enemy armor. I bet it is. It removes my armor. One acid grenade has been added to the inventory. Oh, Kostya, I have a job for you. Oh, and oh, side training's almost done. Oh, I just want to see what this is then. You know what? That that avatar thing can can wait for right now. Let's head over and see if we can nail this scientist. We'll we'll get don't worry. There's plenty of black sites we can be taken down, Advent. We'll get to you in time, but uh, I want to see the side training complete. Okay, Joe Watkins, new ability, Insanity, debilitating telepathic attack that can inflict different negative conditions, including mental control of the target. Oh, good. Yes, um, okay. Oh, oh, Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. First of all, you look insane. I, I'm already a fan of you, Joe. I'm already a fan of you. Okay, so you do you have sort of like a special... Oh, you have special ranks. Okay, so I can't train you up as something else? Is that what I'm... That's, I guess that's what I'm seeing here. I can't train you as a different thing. So you, unlike Enemy Unknown, you can't be like a psionic grenadier or a psionic sharpshooter. You're just going to be psy-operative Joe Watkins. Okay, that's fine. That's 100% fine. Uh, oh, and I can... I can, oh, I can train you even more. Ooh. I kind of want to take you out to play, though. I want to I wanna just take you out and have some fun with you. Stasis completely stuns the target for one turn, but renders them immune to any damage or attack. Okay. Soul fire guaranteed. Oh, magic words. Magic, magic words. Guaranteed damage. Guaranteed psionic damage to an organic enemy. Um... That's great. That is fantastic. We're facing more and more robotic enemies, but still ignores cover and armor, magic words, guaranteed damage, and domination mind control. I have, you know, I obviously I've played not a small amount of XCOM, and that's probably going to be very hard to actually get that to take. I'm sure they're going to have to be really, really high level operatives before that's going to have any kind of effect. Um, and only one successful domination per mission. Wow, that's a hell of a cooldown. Oh, do I want to put him... Do I want... Oh, Soul Fire is awesome, because magic words guarantee damage. And Stasis, okay, it stuns the target for one turn, but renders them immune to any damage or attack. I would guess that's going to be pretty easy to get that to hit. That's that's something where the, the enemy is benefiting. I bet that's a really high chance of getting that to hit. I kind of want to put him in for Soul Fire. It's only five days. And we're going to we're gonna stick around and get this scientist. So... Joe, you're going to be trained in soul fire now. Yeah. And um, Elizabeth, are you done? No, don't. No, 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 no. Don't don't stop training her. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're going to... Okay, complete change of plans in the XCOM 2 universe. We're going to... Okay, yes, I know. We're going to get this scientist, and we're going to fidget with my psi operatives while we're doing that. Okay, you've got different things. So you've got soul fire. Great. Schism. Insanity now does a small amount of, oh, oh, there's the magic words again. Guaranteed damage and applies rupture, which will, I mean, it's got to be just like the Grenadier effect where it's just going to be more damage from all other sources. That's wonderful. That's an insanely powerful ability, which is ironic because we're building off of their ability of insanity. Domination, okay, mind control. I gotta take schism. That's just ridiculous. That's actually... Uh, Joe, I can't help noticing you're doing push-ups in the psionics lab. I, I think you've got the wrong idea about how psionics work. But, you know, good good job for staying fit and active. Considering you are locked in a cell, that's probably pretty handy. Ah, it's gotta be schism. Schism all day long. That's just... That's almost a little OP. Okay, okay, back to the world map. Sorry, this has been a little chaotic, not really action-packed, but I'm very excited about having psionics done. All right, we're going to stick around and get this scientist, because here's what's going to happen. We're going to get a scientist. 
We're going to have plasma rifle done by then. Joe will be done by then. And Elizabeth will be almost done. And then we're going to look at a black site. And we're going to take our Psy operative on that. We still got to get that codex, though. But we're going to get this all done somehow. But let's pick it up again in the next episode of XCOM 2. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. I find it very funny that smashing through the window apparently does not arouse any suspicion at all. And you're going to smash the other window. You couldn't even go in the same window, Colossus. Oh, games are funny sometimes. Games are a little silly sometimes.